April 6th, 301, vlog 5. I'm saying this now because I think we said it before when my sunglasses were off, and I cannot use that. Well, first of all, Thing there was a Togo work. party last night, and I was like, that's hilarious. I've been in college for 18 years, and I haven't been to one Togo party yet. Really? So we, I think I've been to ATO's Togo party. I never have. So we tried to go to Togo party But we didn't get night. in because we weren't wearing Togo. So the funniest theme of the night, though, was we went to one fraternity, and the theme was the 60th anniversary of Israel. It was, like, amazing, because that would be, like, my favorite theme. That would be the theme that I would choose. Why? Because it's just, like, stock full loaded of, like, prime Jewish ass. Nothing grosses me out more than a bunch of Jewish frat boys at an Israel-themed party. <laughs> if I was, even if I was a horrible blonde kicked. Gentile, no offense, <laughs> <laughs> I would still think that was lame. Okay. I had something important to say. Last night I got three hours of sleep because I had a boy in my bed, but we didn't do it. Or Sometimes anything. I'm surprised about the level of. I mean, you really took full disclosure with you in the book. I just feel like it's important to just put it out there because, like I said, like you can just like take it out if it's like too much. What were you gonna talk about? Oh, if I was gonna have a frat party, it would be called. This would be the theme. Grungy. It would be called. Frat boys and dumb skanks who don't know any better. That's just like every party. That's what? It's like I meta. Mean, yeah, it's meta. <laughs> <laughs> it's like metaphysicalizing the concept uh, of a fraternity party. I just got a text message. Do you want a blaze or something? Do you want a blaze or, or something? something? Do you want a blaze or something? I, wait, I have to nag that. Or for, something. Wait, for, or some. Or something. You have the grossest fucking sex, like I can imagine. Like it would, ne it would never no. occur to me to make a joke about arms tied behind someone's back, ass in the air. Well, I've never played with anal beads, but. <laughs> ow, ow. We should just tell our virginity stories on camera. Would you be willing to do that? No. I lost my virginity in Cleveland. Testosterone controls your brain. You can't ever think straight. It's All the crazy. You're stupid. So worshiping dick is like a very antiquated thing. Whereas moving on past dick and making fun yeah. of it on the internet. That's feminism. New, that's feminism. That's feminism. Holy shit, yes. It's like we're in a global community of the internet. Yes. Being worldwide digital feminists. Yes! And I just got really excited. <laughs> oh, wait, and I had other cougar news. What? Way before I was a cougar, back in the day when I was still jailbait, yeah. I was working as a camp counselor at Camp Young Today in Amherst, New Hampshire. And while I was there, there were these younger boy campers. They were like probably like four or five years younger than me. I think they were like sophomores in college now. Okay. Maybe they're freshmen. No, I think they're sophomores. I'm, yeah. And I flirted with like like three or four of them specifically, but one mostly who I like had an enormous little boy crush on. And like he's the kind of dude that if he was like not ten years younger than me, like I would have a crush on him. Like, he texted He you texted now. me the other night and I like woke up in the morning and I was like, What is this phone number? And I like and I was like it was like, by the way, it was like Claire, I just want you to know I think you're hilarious. And so I was like, Who is this? I swear to God. Swear to God, get the text back. Zachary Kazin has text messaged me. That's funny. Zachary, like, I know. sent it to, like, all these little boys who I made sit on my lap when I was in first grade and they were in kindergarten. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> but they're, like, 20 now, so that's totally Oh, I know. Legal. No, I totally, I mean, I understand that's exactly. That's legit. It's super legit, and when Kazen sent that to me, like, basically my boner grew 15 sizes. So. Okay, wait, can I just... Oh, I'm gonna button my shirt, I think, for the vlog. Okay, so vlog five. We're in a new location. Yes, we're in the living room. We're just changing it up a little. Yeah. It was boring. Was fixing her hair. Oh, Claire, what the fuck do do? Yeah, why don't we just do that for yeah. a minute? Um, hi guys. Hello, I'm not ready yet. 
Oh, this is terrible. No, we would never shoot under these lighting conditions. We would never more. do this. This is really highly unusual. Um, highly unusual lighting conditions. Hold on, one second. One second, it's almost done. It's almost done. You look pretty in what are you doing? I know, you're bored. No. I'm just internally bored. Look, you can tell how bored I am because I don't even want to set this on. Like that. I'm just going to talk to you like this.